Hello everyone. Welcome back to my channel. As the thumbnail shows, in today's video, I'm going to walk you through the differences between Windows local accounts and Microsoft online accounts. We'll explore which option is more secure, which one is more convenient, and how to switch between these two accounts, or even use both at the same time. In the next video, I'll also share a powerful tool that can help you recover your Windows password if you ever forget it. Plus, I'll be selecting a few subscribers from the comments on this video to give away licenses for this software. So if you're facing similar issues, make sure you don't miss it. Let's first take a look at some of the characteristics of Windows local accounts. One major benefit of a local account is improved privacy, since all data is stored directly on your computer. This eliminates worries about data breaches, which is why many businesses using Windows tend to rely on local accounts. First, it helps prevent employees from leaking sensitive information. And second, it reduces the risk of hackers remotely accessing the company's computers. But of course, nothing's perfect. There are drawbacks. Since local accounts don't connect to Microsoft's cloud services, you might miss out on certain conveniences. For instance, Microsoft Office may require you to sign in with an online Microsoft account to use all its features. And this, this is where the advantages of an online account come in. By linking to Microsoft's cloud, you can use a range of tools making your computing experience more convenient and efficient. For many Windows users, this is, this is the preferred option. For example, with a Microsoft account, you can upload documents to cloud storage and access them from any computer by simply logging in. However, this convenience comes with some trade-offs. If your online account is compromised by a hacker, your files could be deleted or changed maliciously. So essentially, you're trading some level of security for convenience. Let's start with something simple. If you're using a local account but want the convenience of an online account, you can easily link it to your Microsoft account. It's a straightforward process. Just press Win I to open Windows settings, then click on your accounts at the top left. From there, you can sign into your Microsoft account by clicking Sign In. If you don't have a Microsoft account, you can click the link below to create one. Otherwise, just log in with your phone number or email and enter your password. Once done, your local account will be converted to an online account. Similarly, you can also create a local account from an existing online account. Since the data for a local account is stored on the computer, this is also a simple process. Just press Win I to open Settings, click on Accounts at the top, scroll down to Other Users, and click Add Account. Next, click I don't have this person's sign-in information and select Add a user without a Microsoft account. Follow the prompts and you'll complete the setup step by step. You can even change the local account type to either a standard user or administrator. If you ever want to convert your online account back to a local account, press Win I, click on Accounts at the top left, scroll down to Your Info, and click Sign In with a local account instead. Click Next, verify your PIN, and create a new password to switch back to a local account. Once both accounts are set up, you can switch between them as needed. For instance, you could use the local account for private tasks and switch to the online account when you need cloud access. This is how I usually manage it, as it combines both security and convenience. Now, you might notice that both types of accounts require passwords to log in. But what if you forget your password? Huh? You might be thinking of reinstalling Windows or looking for repair tools, but that could lead to data loss or even a full system reset. Is there a way to recover your password without losing any data? Don't worry, I'll introduce an amazing tool in the next video that will help you with this. And don't forget, I'll be giving away activation licenses in the comments. So if you're interested in a tool that can reset your Windows password, leave a comment and follow my channel. See you in the next video.